It's true. I ordered a Tesla. Turn up the bacon. How's it going, everyone? Frank here, and I'm going to go ahead and start talking about this journey of having a Tesla. Now, before I start, I do want to make a couple of things clear. It's not actually mine, um, but it will be mine. Now, hear me out here. It's a little bit different because this is actually a company vehicle. Now, you might be thinking, is it a company vehicle for the company you work for? Well, sort of, but it's not for my job. It's for the company that I have built. We've been able to make enough of an income stream that's residual that it's actually going to pay for itself. And I'm hoping, you know, with full disclosure, that it'll also help bring in some views for the channel because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos about it. I'm going to be learning along the way. I've, I've read so much. And I'm also going to be sharing as much of the experience as I can. So to clarify, it's not mine. It doesn't officially belong to me and my wife. It officially belongs to the business that we have. So it is going to be our company vehicle, but we are going to be utilizing it, documenting all of our use with it, um, and exploring. It. Basically, every time we do something with it, we're going to be documenting it. So we're going to be able to give it full review level to make sure it's completely legit for business purposes, tax purposes, all that stuff. A lot of you who understand business know that a lot of that documentation is important. And not only is it important, it is vital. So I'm not going to talk a lot about that unless you want to know more about how to be able to expense something like a car for business purposes. And yes, I will be going over that aspect of it as well, because for this purpose, for what my experience will be, that will be a major part of us having this is going to be using it for the business. So let me just get back to the calendar wise. Last Thursday, the 25th of June, I went ahead and put in the order. Now, if you've never seen the Tesla website, essentially it looks like this. I'm currently logged in right now. So there's probably going to be like a login option if you don't have a Tesla account. But you simply look at the cars they have here. Now, for some reason, I don't know where the Cybertruck is. It's probably on this list somewhere. I'm just scrolling really fast. So, no, I don't see it. How weird. If you go to the Tesla website on your phone, you'll actually see a Cybertruck option for it. But in this case, what I did is I looked at the different options, Model S, 3, X, and Y. I, I originally thought I wanted an X. But then when this newer one, the Model Y, came out, I just hit the button. And there it is. You have all these different features. So I know that I've scrolled through this really quickly and I'm sorry about that. But if you're curious about it, it just takes a couple of minutes to just go through, read about it. If you're interested, there's so much, I'm not going to be able to talk about all of it uh, in this one video, but if you want me to talk about it, I will. I read so much. I kind of know a lot now. So what I did is I simply hit order. Now you can see it right down here. And then after a few moments, you get to pick all the different things you want on it. You can pick uh, long range performance. In this case, it was this one. Um, and you get to choose the exterior I went with blue, bigger wheels. I did have a tow hitch because we do plan on hauling stuff around. I uh, went with the white interior, which some people think is questionable because we have kids and our kids will be in it from time to time. However, I have seen so many videos saying that this faux leather, it's a, it's a vegan leather, so it's fake, but it cleans up so easily. All you have to do is get one of those uh, magic erasers, you know, Mr. Clean, not a sponsor. Uh, neither is Tesla, by the way, uh, magic eraser, and it just wipes right up. People have had these things for years, like the Model S for years with the white interior. Zoop, it cleans right up. It's great. So... I like the way it looks. Also, we're in Mississippi. It gets kind of hot and that's going to bounce off a lot of those hot rays from the sun with a glass roof. So it won't be quite as hot in there. That's just science. So either way, you go through the process, you get to the payment portion of it. You got to, um, you have to reserve it with a $100 deposit. It's pretty easy to do. And then boom, it's just, it's held for you. They, it's, at that point, it's in order. They send you 
an email confirmation. They send you, you know, you get the inform- information about how much it costs. And then they tell you, you got to finance it now. You got to figure out how to pay for it. And you can either choose to pay it all up front. You can pay cash. You can finance it through their own partner bank, which is not their bank, but they partner with the bank. Or you can use your own bank or your own credit union, whatever you want. And then at this point, I'm currently on a, a waiting list. Um, Tesla tells me it's going to be anywhere from four to eight weeks before they expect for me to actually be able to receive mine. I actually joined a website called Tesla Motors Club. I'm pretty sure that they're not affiliated with Tesla at all. Yeah, it's not affi- affiliated with Tesla. So joining this, it's nice because there's user forums and I've been able to ask some questions on there. Um, that's my username if you want to stop by and say, hey. But um, I've been asking questions about it. And so one of the things, like, um, I got my financing completely squared away. But I can't do anything until I have my VIN number for the vehicle. Once I have my VIN number, then I can actually get it insured. Then I can actually pay for it and then hopefully schedule a time to pick it up. I'm back on the Tesla website. Once you're logged in, you have this area here called Tesla account. Now in there, you'll actually be able to see once it, it loads. It takes a while to load. It's not the fastest website. A little strange. But you'll be able to see your actual reservation information. For instance, there's the Model Y that I've ordered. Below here where it says Model Y, there, this blank spot that you can't see, that's my actual reservation number. That's that's for me. Um, also, you'll notice that I've blanked out the bottom left corner because the hyperlink also has it too. But the point is, that's where that's going to be. If you click on that, it'll bring you to a nice pretty page where you can see the actual layout or design and all the details of what you ordered. It'll tell you what status it's in. And for my case, I'm in the status of waiting for a VIN number to exist and waiting for me to be able to insure it because they won't give it to you until it's insured. So there's the mock-up of what mine's going to look like. I'm, I'm simply waiting for the VIN number. Now, there's a nice little thing down here on this page. I'm not going to scroll down because it's going to show you a lot of my personal info that I don't want you to see. But on this page, once you have a VIN number assigned, then you can actually proceed with paying for it. You can proceed with getting your insurance. You can proceed and actually get things going. But sometimes, and a lot of people have figured this out, that the Tesla website on your order page does not actually show you your VIN number once your VIN number is assigned. And that is where this little icon up here comes in. This is a Chrome extension called Tesla VIN Finder. So if you go to the Chrome extensions window, Tesla VIN, there it is, Tesla VIN Finder. And of course, I already have it added, but what it does is actually searches the source code of the website to see if you have your VIN number because the source code will have your VIN before it's actually visible. I don't know why they did that or who coded it that way, but that is the way it's set up. So when you, so when you're on your personal page, it will detect it. I'm going to click on a page that isn't this. For instance, if I go back to the Motor Clubs, the Tesla Motors Club website, you notice that the little Tesla logo for the extension is gray. It knows it's not on the Tesla website, but if I go back to here and if I click on it, it will then scour the code and it'll say no VIN found. Now, eventually, hopefully there will be one. Um, I'm still expecting, I guess at this point, three and a half to seven and a half weeks left. I'm not going to hold my breath on that because some people have waited more than half a year and some people order theirs and then within a week, they have a new Tesla Model Y. I don't know why that is why that is that was not meant to be a pun but it works but that that is part of the experience that's something that i'm seeing it's strange and it, it, i'm sure it's frustrating to some people now personally me i'm very patient so i would i can't wait to be able to bring you videos about the actual car the experience of picking it up and seeing it i'm going to be trying to take as many pictures and videos as i can once i actually have it but until then, I'm going to be doing a lot of research and bringing you information about different accessories and options 
that, again, though I can't physically interact with them yet, I'm hoping to find a lot of information that will be helpful both to me and maybe to some of you who are maybe thinking about getting a Model Y or some other model of Tesla. So I'm also going to try my best to do a lot of research about the Cybertruck. I have a friend in Texas who has already put an order in for his. So that's kind of exciting. But for now, that's all I have. I can't wait for you to join me on this journey. I'm going to try to do as many videos as I can on this. So thank you for watching and thanks for joining me in this exciting thing that's happening. And I just want to reiterate again, this is a vehicle that has been purchased by our company. I actually don't even pay myself with the company yet. We decided to build the company with all excess funds and we're going to be utilizing this vehicle to do so. That's one of our tools that we're using as our, at our disposal. I'm still not great at talking in front of the camera again. I've been doing it. It's, it's been so long since I've done this regularly. So forgive me, but that's it for tonight. I say it's night because it's actually kind of late in the evening where I am. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Ring the bell so you can know when I have new Tesla videos out. Turn up the bacon and I'll see you next time.